on the first two videos uh, we have seen uh, preparing the FMC with a Cisco smart account and the second video we saw preparing the FTD with CLIs uh, to be added to the um, FMC and adding the FTD with FMC in this video let's look at how to uh, configuration required for interface policy routing platform and NAT and ACLs So here I have my device under device device manager um, I'm going to click the edit icon which is on the extreme right of the device um, I have um, all these interfaces right from Ethernet 1 slash 1 to Ethernet 1 slash 16 which is available on this platform Cl uh, click the edit icon and then um, specify the name for this interface I'm going to say outside enable the interface select a security zone uh, either you can use a new zone or existing zone I'm going to use the existing zone and configure the IP address similarly configure the second interface for outside enable set the security zone configure the IP address So uh, we have configured the interface IP address and um, as you could see that internet 1 slash 1 and 1 slash 2 uh, indicates that it's green which means that they are physically connected to the switch or the peer network uh, peer device whereas on ethernet 1 slash 3 um, shows red which means that it is enabled but uh, the link which is not connected to any of the switch uh, the gray indicates that we have uh, not if, uh, not enabled or uh, no shut on this interface and now that we have configured interface let's go to the routing we have uh, OSPF, uh, RIP, BGP and multicast uh, for the interest of this video uh, I'm going to just configure static routing um, to, so I'm going to configure default route so specify that which interface sh should be used that is outside uh, network I say uh, destination network that is any I'm going to set the gateway as uh, my gateway since I already have an object uh, with this value it's populating the pre-populating that uh, object group I'm saying uh, I've selected that network object metric if, if at all you want to have uh, uh, route tracking that is uh, IPSLA you can configure the uh, route, route tracking so now that we have configured a route um, we can review the device information such as name of the device which mode it is routed or transparent and then serial number um, which model it is health and then what is the management IP address all this information you can view on the device information um, you can configure uh, inline set if you are going to deploy this box as a next gen IPS, uh, DHCP, and SNMP settings um, are also available here. Let's go to platform settings. So, under platform settings, you can create a, a platform policy, choose a thread defense settings, and name this policy. Select uh, devices that you want to apply this platform setting policies um, ideally you can flap one or more devices and then have same policy across all the devices uh, I'm going to choose both the devices uh, the platforms like ARP, ARP, ARP configuration banner HTTP uh, access whom, whom, who all should can access HTTP ICMP um, SSH SNMP settings all this can be configured there the one primary thing that you need to 
uh, always do is the time synchronization. Uh, time synchronization is definitely a critical component between FTD and FMC. If both the time clocks are on same, then the log event correlation on the FMC will be uh, will be right. So we have two options: either push the NTP configuration from uh, FMC or have its own separate NTP configuration. I'm going to use um, I'm going to say that now use the uh, um, NTP server from the FMC on this device. Next is you can configure NAT policy. Create a new NAT policy, uh, NAT, NAT policy, or use the existing one. Um, click uh, apply uh, apply assi uh, policy assignment to assign the FTD, and then create NAT rules. Similarly, you can create uh, configure the access control policy. Uh, since we already assigned the device to the and assign the access policies to the device at the time of resisting the box uh, you can use the same access control policy to uh, configure access control rules this is all required uh, for you to add an FTD to FMC and then configure some basic uh, policies with this we have come to the end of this video I hope you enjoyed it thank you see you soon and next video Bye-bye.